Hello YouTube and welcome back to Alice Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So this is June 2024's extra video you could call it because this is using some of my pre-order and while I'm talking to you on the camera I am trying to look for oh where is it the uh no no it must no I am looking for a parakeet party stamp uh, not stamp there it is ink paint because we're going to be using some retired colors here so anyways, this is, I don't have anything truly written down, but this was part of my pre-order. So I guess this is going to be in the new catalog and I bought this set and I got the dies. So I'm going to show you a few things. Um, the dies are, it's a bundle. <coughs> Didn't have any paper or anything with it. Not to say that that might not be in the catalog, but by the time the catalog is released, I won't have the stamp set because this, my girlfriend Jackie, loves Halloween. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm going to use it and make a few videos. I love this as well, but she is going to love it more. And I want her to have plenty of time to play with it. Um, I, I toyed with the idea of doing a Mondays or Saturdays videos with this. And I thought, you know what? No, I'm just going to enjoy stamping with it and releasing the videos as I get to do it. I told her, give me a week, two weeks to play with it, and then it's all yours, and you can have all the fun you want, and I know she will, because this is so, so her, and um, it, it's fun, it's bright, it's not scary, it, it's just a sweet little stamp set, and I, just the stamp set, you could fussy cut everything out of there and be just fine. So, first thing I want to show you is, <clears throat> this is one of those real flimsy, uh, magnetic sheets you can get. I mean, it's super, you can see, it's really flimsy. So this is how I do it. This is not the sheet I want. This is the sheet that all the dies came on. So I added tear tape to it. I'm looking for the pokey tool. I mean, I would think this would be cute to cover with the hollow. Yeah, I've got ideas that I just, oh, so many ideas. Ah, come on. Reach in for the garbage bin so these strips don't end up on the floor. This is going to adhere. This is just going to give it some more stability so your dies aren't flopping around on that. <clears throat> and it's a great use of what came with it to begin with. So this is going to go like so. So I'm going to try. Well, let's take it all off first because that's the best way. Because you see how flimsy this is. So you put tear tape on the sheet that it originally came in. Using my tabletop. I'm going to line it up hopefully. Nope, didn't get it quite there. That looks really good. Alright, smooth it down. You can see it's a little bigger, but I think it will still fit in the envelope. And then what I typically do is you can also tear tape this to this but I don't need to do that but I do want it nice and secure so that when Jackie goes to get it see it still fits in there just fine so that's how we're gonna do it so let's put all these bits and bobs oh my goodness let's pick them up first and I just stick them where I can fit them no rhyme or reason if this is such a cute little Halloween set. It's light, it's funny, it's not scary. Oh, and there's a stamp set I love. It's, I have it, it says, time for a little brouhaha. I love that one. I'm gonna have to get that out if I remember. Oops, let's try to work this in. Scooch over. There, I just don't want to lose any pieces. So I've already done some die cutting and I used the some retiring colors <clears throat> or retired colors. This is Parakeet Party, Cinnamon Cider and Craft. Then I did some Witch's Cauldrons, the little cauldron here. This is a Starry Sky. I did some in black. 
And then I gave myself potions and I see this needs to go in here. Let's put that right in the back. Scooch in there. All right. <clears throat> so let's see what we got going on. So I have two because we're going to make two. We're going to do what I would call a beginner card. We're just going to do some stamping and then we're going to step it up some. So for the first card, we have card base number one is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I have two pieces that are three and three quarters by five and I have a white envelope. Now those are going to be the same for both cards. So I'm going to set one set aside. I need a scratch piece of paper. A new one would be nice, right? Hold on. <coughs> Sometimes I think I hear him whisper two words, just two. It's always just two. I whisper back to him three words. It's always just three. He whispers, hi, mom. And I whisper back, I hear you. From my mother. She wrote that about my brother. Beautiful. I know it's beautiful. Okay, so first card. Oh, let's open this stamp set up. First one, we are gonna stamp our cauldron. I have don't even have them on blocks yet. <clears throat> so pop it down. We're going to pick it up like so. That's a big, nice big chunky monkey cauldron. We want that, and we want, I know they're not. I want the bubbles. Bubbles. And then, ha 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 ha. Toil in trouble. And we want Happy Halloween. And then, oh, I might as well just, yeah, let's just mount them all, right? Let's just get, get this party started. All right, one two we have a couple of bubbles here we can mount hopefully on these both there two oh, we have a third bubble let's put it on the back we have those we have a little book that says spells and potions and there goes my card supplies onto the ground so let's pick those up real quick um, what else are we looking for? We need the kitty cat and the crow. Oh my goodness, I'm already going to be running out of blocks. And then hocus pocus, a little hocus pocus, <clears throat> which is so sweet. Sweet. It's just cute. All right. And our crow. Oh, there goes everything on a block. Oh, no. We have toil and trouble. Oh my goodness. Do you think? Okay. And happy Halloween. Well, happy Halloween. Oh, yeah. Let's make it fit, hopefully, straight. Uh, no. <clears throat> it will fit on this block. It just needs to be all the way on the block. So, all of that stuff. Because we are going to start with the cauldron. <clears throat> yeah, we are. And, oh, we have to do the smushy smushy. Sorry, guys. Smushy smushy first. That almost sounds like my daughter's car, but it's not time for her. So we're going to do the cauldron in Starry Sky. So smushy smushy smushy. Our bubbles are in Tahitian Tide. So here's our bubbles. This is going to be for both of them. So let's get the... This one and this one. All right. And then what did I want the pair keep party for? I really wanted that pair. Oh, the little sparkles and probably our words. So sparkles, sparkles, words. And you only got to do this once, guys, when you first get your stamp set. Just 
to make sure there's no film or coating because a lot of times there is and we'll worry about the, the others later so <clears throat> let's go I just can you tell I just want to play with it I just want to play so first things first ooh we could use Memento Paris Dusk. We could use that. That was given to me by Phyllis, but we'll stick with the Starry Sky. I think we'll use that one when we stamp on the cauldron itself. All right, so we're going to do our, our cauldron right in the center. Now, where is my blender pen? <clears throat> Because you know what we're doing, right? We're going to blend in this color. Smear that ink around. Best way ever. Look at that. Who knew? Sometimes I would forget I have these blender pins. That's why they're sitting in there. And I have so many. But now they're getting used because I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm having a blast doing it. So there's my cauldron. Next, we need our bubbles and our bubbles are going to be in the Tahitian Tide. Now, I know, I know that some of you are not Halloween fans. I know there are those out there. I would not say I'm fanatic, <clears throat> but I enjoy Halloween just because of childhood. Oh, look at that. So then I want to turn it, I think, and do a few bubbles like it's coming out. Because see, it's going to come right off the side. So it's going to look like it's overflowing there, which is really cool. I can even add, we'll add some singles. Where's those single ones? <coughs> Over there. So one there, one there. And then we'll add a few coming off this way, maybe going up. Okay. Oh, isn't that cute? So yeah, we're going to blend in a few of the bubbles. So let's just take the blender pen, do a few bubbles. I don't want to do them all. I just want to give them some of them a little blending. All right. <clears throat> that doesn't show up as well as this did. Those are done. Those are done. Move that aside. Move that aside. Now we have, I told you, this is a simple one. We can, oh no, a little hocus pocus, not that one. We are going to do double tubble toil and trouble up here. This is for the beginner stamper, everybody. Just this is me throwing out a few extras with some really cute things that I purchased. So I'm going to take it off of the white so that I can see better because I want this right here. Isn't that darling? Yes. What else? Oh, we have sparkles. So this is going to be, what are we going to do our sparkles in? <clears throat> what color did we not use with these colors? Oh, mm -hmm. sweet sorbet. Do we do red sparkles for magic? Do we do? Oh, no, 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 no. I have this brilliant starlight stuff. Let's test this out. I did that in parakeet party. should clean that off. Look at, mm, no, not really. Maybe go around it. Okay, my daughter bought me that. <clears throat> Had it for years sitting there. So let's clean this little sparkly one off. We have two little sparkles. We're gonna make it really bright, colorful, colorful, and add some sweet sorbet to the mix. When these all dry up, I have no more because I didn't buy the refills. Not my favorite colors. Um, we're going to do, I need that. This way.
put as a button. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm thinking we're going to add more bubbles up there. <clears throat> I think so. And if I can find the bubbles, the bubblers. Here we go. Let's. If I can. Now we'll fill it in with the singles. Hopefully we'll fill it in. I might just be using only the two. Oh, here's the other one. <clears throat> I need a post-it note, sorry. All right. I'm gonna forget which one I inked up, but let's add that there. Oh, we're working with the middle one right now. I'm trying to fill in that little bit of space that I got going on. Oh, that works. Look at how well that lined up. Oh my goodness, this is too, too much fun. Okay, so let's get in between these two. Oh, you know what I need is I need one here <clears throat> and one there. So I need a little bit more. And then right there, right there, all my fingers, right? And I want to do like that. Let's see what that looked like. <clears throat> well, I could have done better. Could have done better my lines. Not too good. Oh, well. We will still work with it. We can work with it. I'm going to try to add that one there. And... I think we need a few bubbles on this side down here to make it all cohesive. So we're going to just add some like they've fallen out <clears throat> and floated down. Oh, I love it. Okay. Yes. Okay. For the inside. So that's for the outside. For the inside, what are we going to do? <clears throat> <laughs> we're gonna do bubbles but what oh we have happy halloween which is gonna be in tahitian tide no parakeet party happy halloween um <laughs> we need a little sparkles We need some bubbles. We need some bubbles here. And some bubbles down there. Oh, that's so cool. Let's do our envelope. <clears throat> I'm not sure if all the dies I cut are going to be like better than this. So we're going to stamp oh, down at the bottom. We're going to stamp a little hocus pocus right there because we're going to put bubbles down here. And carry it like that. And um, a little bit of stardust, right? Oh, I did that in the wrong color. And now I have, um, let's do this. <laughs> Not good. All right. We need to do a little bit back here. And I think really the best bet is going to be the bubbles because it's just too, too cute. <clears throat> Anything else that I missed stamping? We could add a few little magic bursts of little... there. So envelope completed. Let's, we have the inside completed. I'm just setting my stamp blocks and all the ink pads away because I don't want to clean up anything yet. 
because I'm going to do a stepped up version of this card. This one is geared towards the beginner. <coughs> now, I'm thinking <coughs> Orchid Oasis, which I don't have that cut out, would do nicely to frame everything in. And we need a sponge dauber for that. So, hold on. I know I have one in Orchid Oasis. Do, 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 right there. I could make tons of this card right here. I could just make tons of them. I would be so happy doing it. So we're just going around the edge, fingers behind, thumb in front, just to frame it. Yes, it's Orchid Oasis, just to frame it out. And of course, we're going to do the inside piece as well. I'm trying not to get too much on it. You can see me repositioning my hands. And then do we do the envelope as well? You know what? Let's just do the envelope. By the bubbles we don't have to do the whole thing and we'll do just by the bubbles all right <clears throat> something a little different so close this one up for now because we're probably going to do that on the next one but i just want it closed up let's put this one together because i can't wait to see it okay inside piece is going to be first because it was right there Oh, yes. On that bright Tahitian tide, not dreary or scary. This is light and fun. You can wink Estella all the bubbles. I'm not going to do that right now because we're going to do another card. Look at that. That is so much fun. <clears throat> Just stamping with it. That's it. Just stamp. Stamp, ink, and paper. That's all this card was. And we have our coordinating envelope. We're going to set this one aside. Somewhere safe, hopefully. And I'm going to take a sip. And then we're going to work on the next one. I don't have all my goodies figured out, but <clears throat> so for the next one, we have the same pieces. <coughs> this one, I want to do a little bit more. So I have a cauldron in Starry Sky. I have Parakeet Party for the goo. I have a couple of handles and they give you a couple of options. Let me share those with you. So you can see we have so much fun stuff. Let's see, you have those. Oh, this, we need one of these. That's our pot stir, right? Our pot stick. You have this handle here, which you could put like right here. Um, so, and I've done some in black. You've seen that. We're going to do a kitty cat. Now, I've just stamped him in black, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do for him. I'm going to get that. I know they retired it, but I still like to use it, my stamparatus. <clears throat> All right. Open this up. These are polymer stamp sets, so you do need to use the foam. We are going to do our cauldron first, and I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper in case I don't get it just right. <clears throat> Here's my cauldron. Now, it's the same size no matter what I'm doing. I should clean it off. Yeah, there's no reason. Yeah, I should because i got to touch it. <laughs> there's no reason except that it's going to go all over you. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a nice little wipe down. Try it off for a second because I don't want the water on my cauldron. 
what's going to be hard is getting this to stay down. So I'm going to push it all the way in the corner, like so. Because there's nothing for me to put a magnet on, because I've already die cut it. So we're going to stick that on there. And it just needs to be in the general vicinity, right? Pick it up. <clears throat> it's already stuck to it. Because it was wet. <coughs> All right. So we have, where is it? The starry sky on starry sky. So remember, this has got to go all the way up in right there. So let's ink this up. Now I'm just going to give it a little nudge like so. Pop it down. And look, oh. We missed quite a bit there. It didn't get that because it was too close. Let's put it back in there. <clears throat> or I can re-ink it up. Nope, it's not getting that. Maybe I didn't get that bit. So I don't think I got it. So we're going to do it again because I know it's all the way up the top and it's right there. So let's try one more time. it out now we have it Ooh. all right so let's clean that off because I have to use this one more time because we're gonna do the cat and I think the crow the crow guy is is not crows are extremely brilliant I don't know why people think they're bad birds they're brilliant smart creatures and um, <clears throat> This one I think is kind of cute. They did, they did a good job not making it scary. So put that over there. We need the crow we have to do, and I did him in black. So what we're gonna do instead of black, I think we're gonna try this starlight silver, or we could do this Paris dusk. Let's try a little bit of this. I'm not sure what it really looks like. Oh, that was almost so close to Starry Sky. Um, <clears throat> I wonder how it's going to look on black. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to test it out. I just want to test to see if... Okay, you can't see it. So that's a bad idea. Bad idea. Let's go ahead and try. I have the Silver Dakota... The only thing is, is I have to really scrub these stamps off after I use this kind of stuff. But we're going to try. You know what? Let's try a little one first before I go and make a mistake. Let's see. Let's stamp that on this little potion bottle. See, I'm just not sure... It's very, it's pigment ink, I think. My daughter bought me this. See, it looks really splotchy. I don't care for that. What does it say it is? Pigment ink, yes. Good for embossing. Not so great for what I want. So that's a no-go too. Let's try to get that off real quick. Okay, we can go around the cauldron with it though. Let's do that. So this, I do like to use it for this. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is real juicy, juicy pigment ink here. I'm dabbing it off. The gold I didn't think was so bad. So now I started this. We have to go with it, right? All right, let's let that dry. Get a little silver in there. But we're going to stick with black on black. And I know it probably won't show up, but we're going to have to try it anyways. <clears throat> so, memento for the win. See how cute his face is? He's just a fun little bird. Oh, let's maybe I don't even try this. Let's just go like this. So, here's my stamp 
I am just going to go like so. Push it down. Why not? There. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have my bird on there. But the kitty cat... <coughs> okay. We're not even going to go do this mushy smushy. We're going to try to stamp kitty cat in black on black. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stick little kitty. Oops. Maybe kitty goes this way. All right. And then we're going to place the stamp on the kitty cat. I want to be able to go back over it. All right. Up into the corner. Don't. Don't move. All right. So as long as I keep kitty cat in the corner-ish, I should have my kitty cat. I want to put googly eyes on the kitty cat. I really want googly eyes on my kitty cat. Oops, it shifted. All right. <clears throat> That's not going to work. I, sh I just didn't want to have to die cut on camera. So place it down. Do the same thing we did with the crow. Kitty cat and crow are going to have googly eyes. And we'll clean that up. Yes, I know. I, but, you know, sometimes this is me playing, guys, and this is how I design things. Trial and error, it does work. So let's get on with the stamping, right? We tried that. We didn't like it. We're going to keep this kitty cat over there. <coughs> All right, we're doing our background here. So we have our kitty cat. Let's get our googly eyes on our little guys here and I have these super super teeny ones guys I have had these since 2008 2009 so I just need to make sure I get it where his eyeball goes and it's barely seeable on this but it will look so cute when it's done I need scissors pick up an eyeball Ooh, one for the crow. I even have eyeballs with eyelashes. One for the kitty cat. I think it'll be funny. But we'll see how it looks. Maybe I won't use it. I'm kind of a little afraid right now. But I like it. I think it would have been better if the cat was in blue. Because <clears throat> all you see is its big eyes like a big old ghost. We'll have to wait and see if we use those. But I, I'm playing. I'm enjoying it. So we have our cauldron with all that silver goo around. We could do it this way. Or over here. Do the crow. Do the cat. Mm -hmm. And we'll stamp over here. We'll do bubbles. Oh, and we have this too to go on the cauldron. So let's get that on there. You know what? I'm thinking I don't like that. What if we just did it this way? Kept it simple. I've got a little bit of the silver there. That's okay. I gotta look. <coughs> All right. We're gonna fix the silver gooey issue. Oh, that looks that makes it more pewterish. Just taking the corner and going over all that silvery stuff so it's not so bright. Much better. Mm -hmm. A little grungy looking, so let's stamp our bubble bubbles everywhere. I'm not sure about my crow. The cat, I think I can live with the cat. I don't think I can live... with and I want the cat over here well maybe not I can do this and I've got the silver going everywhere on my thing 
I can do it like that. <clears throat> All right, where's my... I'm losing my mind here. Too many ideas are going in my head. So this has got to come. This is the stirring bit. Hand sanitizer for the hands because that silver stuff goes everywhere. We're going to flop this over. We're going to put this in our cauldron. Hopefully not getting the silver stuff all over us. All right, so we have our stirring stick. Ta-da! Our bubbles are going to be going behind it. But look, the bubbles only go one way. That's okay. We're going to work with it. Tahitian Tide it is. So this has got to be there. Bubbles. And that is not Tahitian Tide. What color is this? Pacific Point. What on earth happened to Tahitian Tide? Oh, it's way over there. Okay, Pacific Point it is. I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to bring some. So we have that there. We're going to bring it this way. Make it go all the way up. And do it again. Just trying to get it to the edge. To fill that in and then I think we're just gonna bring it all the way down so <clears throat> let's see we're gonna bring it down don't know why that isn't grabbing any color there we go so it's going up up and around it's boiled over do we want some this way yes we do right there I'm making a mess and I missed nope we're gonna leave it that's where it's staying and I can add little bubbles on the side oh my goodness do I float some extra little Tahitian Tide in here somewhere I mean because that's looking kind of like dark so what if we popped a few bubbles in there like so of Tahitian Tide. And the little one. Okay, now I'm happy. That's a little brighter in the bubble bubbles. And I still have ink. I probably have it on my face now. Great. Pacific Point needs to go away. It's getting everywhere. Goodbye, Pacific Point. Don't know how I got you out in the first place. So we're going to bring in once again our... <clears throat> we're going to do... Do we do the Hocus Pocus? No, we're going to do the Toil in Trouble. Double, double Toil in Trouble. We're going to go right here. And we have our kitty cat, or I could just stamp our cat. Or I can stamp the books. We haven't done the books yet. So let's get, we're just going to do them in the same. So we're going to do spells and potions, blender pen. And we're going to do this little bit here, color in these books, and then I'm going to dip into the other colors and do this, this, and this, <clears throat> and let's pick up, oh, almost lost my, see how we have the color right there? I'm just going to lift that up and I'm going to color my book in. 
to be careful around the words, so I'm just kind of like dabbing it in there. Because this isn't memento, this is ink on ink. So we have that one. And I'm going to come in this book. Picking up the color that's on the ink pad around the edges here. All right, now we need another color. Tahitian Tide Orchid Oasis would work. I have that one. Did I stamp anything? Oh, let's do the Tahitian Tide. See all this ink I have? Oh no, that's not all Tahitian Tide. That's not gonna, we'll do it on the other bubbles. Like, that's a lot of Pacific Point on there. <clears throat> We're going to grab the ink from this around the edges. All right, that one. And this one has quite a bit to spare. So we're going to go, boom, yeah, just blend that all in. Quite a bit to spare. I'm not liking my cauldron. I'm thinking I wish I would have stamped it and colored it in. But it's going to do the job. <clears throat> now I have room here. I have room actually for the crow. So let's stamp the said crow in. See, we have him right there. We can do him in black memento and then color him in in Orchid Oasis. And oh no, did you see what I did? Okay, sorry guys, I may not be in camera for this one. I don't think I got it. He's going to have a little shadow. Just great. But we are going to color him in anyways with a blender pen. And what are we going to use? <coughs> we need kind of a yellow. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see Bumblebee. Let's grab that. There's got to be some somewhere on here that I don't have to ink anything up. And I stick it, of course, where I don't want it. So I'm going to do Bubble B for his feet. We'll just say that we took a picture and the bird wouldn't stand still, right? The bird just would not stand still. So we can do one of two things. We can do our crow. <clears throat> I don't know how to color in black. I just don't. Um, basic gray. Which, of course, I have to turn the towel. Do I have... Oh. I can pick some up. Look how easy that is. All right, let's color the crow. Maybe not as cute as the first one, and I thought this one's going to be like out of the park. But <clears throat> what I'm going to do is come in with and give the crow a little color with um, Starry Sky as well. <clears throat> Picking up that ink. Because, you know, if you look at there. Doing a little, because you've seen crows, they have a little, like, extra color on them. Even though, you know, he's not supposed to be, like, an in-person crow. That has got ink on it, which I gotta clean off. <coughs> I can even do his eyeball blue. Let's 
All right. <coughs> <coughs> that has got to come off my ink pad. Let's get our cauldron on there. And part of me thinks maybe I just go to an all black cauldron, but we'll see. I can place one over this one. <coughs> And I need my inhaler. Hand sanitizer. So there's the cauldron. Try not to get the silver stuff everywhere. We're still going to bring in... That little bit of sweet sorbet. In and around our image. So let's see what we can do. <coughs> <coughs> I lost the cap. I have such a mess now I can't find anything. Oh, we didn't even add this on there. Maybe that will help. All right. I'm not going to put anything on dimensionals. They even have a broomstick, guys, and I haven't even done that. And here comes trouble. There. Can I get the goo there? Oh, and we have bubbles. Bubbles and bubbles. Look at all those bubbles. So we can throw a few of these around. Maybe cut one off or so. Let's see. There. Do a tiny one. <clears throat> up there we can just oops, I would like a few little ones like right there and then a really large one down here one Layer it up. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and two. I just don't put one there. I think that is better. All right, let's glue these down. This one's going to get chopped off. <clears throat> this one isn't getting chopped off. That one's, well, maybe a little bit of it. This one has a little piece connected to it. We don't want that. They're magic bubbles, right? They're floating. <clears throat> All right, let's get this finished. And then I can go feed the hangster who is... You know what? We might be able to leave that on. Okay, where's the sponge daba? for the Orchid Oasis. <coughs> I don't even know if I need to re-ink it. I think we're going to try to leave that little bubble on. Now, there are dies for the bird in the books, but we're just playing. I'll do another one where I'll die cut and stamp all that stuff. Me, I'm just enjoying this and enjoying sharing it with you so thank you so much for allowing me to do so maybe it'll give you some ideas is what to do with it um, <clears throat> so those are all in I'm gonna close up well we have to do the inside oh no okay inside 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 that's our outside this is our inside 
I think we're going to do partial of the cauldron, just because I think so. So I just want part of it. Like right there. Just a little bit, just to have a little bit of like a scene going on in here. And we're going to stamp our cat. I'm not going to have all of them. He's just going to be like right there. Um, and our bubbles, of course. Now we cleaned it off so we can clearly do Tahitian Tide instead of. There. We have that. And we have that. And we want... Happy Halloween, and I just, I just can't stop stamping ink on there. So let's try to add, <coughs> gonna do this. I'm gonna pick up a little starry sky and put it over there. And then I'm gonna ink up a little bit more of the starry sky and add a little there, tying in the front and keep that away from me until I clean it off. So that's really cute. Let's add a little stardust. Cute. And one more up here. This is cuter almost than that. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, how can I do this without getting ink everywhere? I don't know if I can. We're not going to do sponge the envelope. No. Because this is just going all over me and it's such a color. All right. I think we're not, we haven't done the envelope, but let's get this in this, in this card, in the card itself. So. <clears throat> Still a fun little card and two little ideas I can put out there for you and for me just the enjoyment of doing this was so much fun so much fun so see look our little bubble up there that can stay that can stay I'll have to really think a little bit more I was just so excited to have a play with these and I did all that die cutting. Oh, and we have a broom. We can have the broom. <clears throat> there is a broom. Do I just have to keep adding things? Um, let's see. This is cinnamon cider in craft. So here's a broom. And a broom stick. see if we can add this anywhere on there where it looks like it's okay if not we're not adding it huh. give it a second you could have if I didn't have that I could have added the broom but <clears throat> it looks like a mop now that I'm looking at it I'm like that's really moppy it's, it's not, okay that's a no <laughs> That's a no, 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 no. This is a keeper, uh, but yes, the other part is a no. That the broom is a definite no go right now. It's not with the colors I chose. And let's do our envelope. So once again, we are doing focus a little hocus pocus on the front. You know what? Let's we're gonna do this. We're gonna stamp this on the back. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm doing it upside down. Little stardust. Little stardust. A little stardust. And where is my cauldron? We are going to stamp now the other side of the cauldron. Over here. Like so. Ha. And little, few little bubbles. Gotta clean it off because I did the two tone thingy. So Tahitian Tide. There. 
there. And what else can we stamp there? <coughs> oh, yeah. We're going to stamp that right there. <laughs> A little stardust. Right there. And some right up there. And a little down there so now it is complete and I'm gonna show you our cards I'm trying not to touch so this is the stepped up version which almost is not as cute as the first this is so so <clears throat> much brighter I think it's the dark cauldron um, but me playing around right so I like the idea of the spell books. I like that it just needs to be perfected. This is not perfected. This, right on. Doesn't need anything. Great little card. The inside, this is so cute. I've got to do that on the front of a card. Same with, well, that's just sweet and simple. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you guys like it. I'm going to wink a Stella it and uh, get that done. Then I'm going to go feed Hank. He can wait just a few more minutes. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope that you would consider subscribing, liking. That thumbs up helps out. But as always, your comments, guys, are why I keep doing this. And thank you for allowing me to share my love of paper crafting with you. And I invite you to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.